What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're going to discuss 13 habits us guys have that the women hate. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like JT Walker, salute. Now there's certain habits you might have that can wreak havoc on your life in general, but specifically can put you in a doghouse or give you difficulty when it comes to dealing with women. Some of these habits you might be aware of, some you might not be. That's where I come in. And on today's video, I'm gonna share with you 10 bad habits us guys can have that the women absolutely hate. So without any further delay, let's hop right into it. Now first up is a habit I must admit I've been accused of time to time and us fellas easily can fall into this one. Women hate when you don't listen effectively or really just zone out on them. You need to understand that women connect through communication. When they're talking to you, they're looking for understanding and empathy. This is something that's very important to women. And one of the mistakes I've made sometimes and I don't want you to do, don't pretend like you're listening. It's easy to just give the uh-huh, okay, that's really gonna bother her. Instead, actually listen. And the good thing about it, she most of the time isn't looking for a solution from you, just an understanding ear. You wanna get in better with your lady? Listen effectively. When it comes to listening effectively, she wants to just make sure you're paying attention. Another habit she's definitely paying attention to, do you have bad manners? Here's the thing, especially when she's first getting to know you, she's gonna judge how you might treat her in the future based on how you treat other people. Are you disrespectful, mean, cruel? Are you a jerk to wait staff and valet guys? You know, people you might see beneath you? She's paying attention. And bad manners are just a bad habit to have overall, not just because the ladies are paying attention. Nobody enjoys being in the company of the guy with bad manners, especially the ladies. You wanna have a habit that really turns the ladies off? Be the guy who's indecisive. One of the worst phone calls you can have, especially when you're starting to date someone, ask her out. Then when trying to plan the date, ask her, hey, what do you want to do? Then she replies, what do you want to do? Big turn off. A man is supposed to be a leader. A man should be decisive. Make decisions. When you're indecisive and don't take control of situations, it makes you look weak, makes you look submissive. So in the scenario I just talked about, if you ask a woman on a date, plan the date and then tell her what you guys are going to do. Be a leader, be in control, be decisive. The ladies will love it. Now with this being a style channel, a lot of us, including myself, pay a lot of attention to the clothes we wear. But you wanna know what the ladies are noticing even more than your shoes? She's turned off if you have bad hygiene. Here's the thing, women pay close attention to hygiene, hers and yours. And you have to remember, a woman's sense of smell is much stronger than ours. She's gonna notice your body odor or your bad breath. So make sure you're paying attention to these hygiene details. Your breath, body odor, fingernails, hands. Us guys tend to not pay enough attention to our hygiene. Trust me, the women pay attention. You wanna know a habit that will instantly turn women off and they definitely hate? Be the guy with the lack of ambition. Women do not like men without drive and a purpose. But here's the great thing about it. She doesn't expect you already to always be successful. She expects you to be working towards it. That's more important. That's where ambition comes in. And on top of that, I'm always preaching to you guys, you should be on your purpose anyway. First of all, for you. And one of the friend's benefits of being on your purpose, women find it very attractive. As I mentioned, you don't already have to be in the winner's circle already. Just working your way towards it. Don't be the lazy guy on the couch complaining you haven't made it. Women hate a lack of ambition. Now you'll often hear me say, I don't have a great background by mistake. It's because I believe success and life in general is lived in the gray areas. And that definitely applies to the next habit women hate. They hate a guy who's arrogant. The gray area you ask, they still want a man who's confident, but there's a difference. You see a confident man is subtle 
An arrogant man is out there. He's bold. He's letting you know how successful he is. Arrogance is obnoxious. Confidence is readily apparent without you having to say anything. If you're as successful as you say you are and have all the things you're bragging about, she'll see it over time. No need to wear it on your sleeve. So yes, women find confidence very appealing. But remember, confidence is subtle. She doesn't like arrogance. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned how women want you to be an effective listener. They want you to pay attention. But on the other end of the spectrum, don't pay too much attention to her. Women hate it when you're clingy. Yes, she wants your attention, just not all of it. You can't be on your purpose if every waking moment and thought is dedicated to her. Yes, she wants you to be interested in her, but she wants you to have your own outside interests as well. And I know you've heard the cliche, Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Let her miss you. Let her have something to look forward to. No matter how wonderful this woman may be, you need to have a life of your own. Don't make anything completely about somebody else, including a woman. She's gonna hate it if you're clingy. Now a bad habit that people in general can't stand and women hate specifically is if you're a man who doesn't keep his word. As a man, you should say what you mean and mean what you say. If you say you're gonna do something or you're gonna be somewhere, be there or do that thing. Be dependable, be truthful, be reliable. Women are turned on by stability, feeling like they can count on you. That includes keeping your word. Exhibiting stability, being dependable, makes her feel safe. And besides, not just when it comes to women, nobody likes a guy who doesn't keep his word. Want to be a man who shows stability, someone she can depend on. Keep your word. Now for our next bad habit, we're back to the gray areas. One of the things you can do that women absolutely hate, being cheap. Now how is this a gray area point? It's because I'm not saying you should throw money at women. Don't do that. You should always give and do what you feel comfortable doing and live below or at your means. But when you're the cheapskate and every day you're pulling out coupons, that's a turn off. And here's the thing, whether consciously or subconsciously, when you're cheap, she's thinking you're not generous in other aspects of your life. And just think about it. If you're always pinching your pennies, how can you have fun? And the guy who's cheap often comes off as self-absorbed and selfish. But keep in mind, like I said, don't throw money at her. Just spend a little bit, sometimes. You want a surefire way to annoy a woman? And trust me, I know this one from experience. Be the guy who's forgetful. And I'm talking specifically about important things, dates, or days. That really grinds their gears. It's really a big turn off if you're absent-minded. It makes you seem like you're not serious. And remember, milestones are important to women. Birthdays, anniversaries, or events you have planned for now or the future, whether big or small. Want to be the guy who's always annoying your woman? Be forgetful, be absent-minded. Now, one of the characteristics that a lot of guys may not realize that women find attractive, it's intelligence. So on the opposite end of the spectrum, what really can turn her off? When you're willfully ignorant. Now, whether it comes to women or anything in life, you should be constantly learning, evolving, getting better, and acquiring knowledge. If you don't, she will be turned off, especially if you're not willing to learn about things out of your wheelhouse or out of your comfort zone. Nobody expects you to know everything. But to willfully not want to know, that's a problem. So remember, women often find intelligence attractive. Know what else is attractive? Wanting to know even more. Now next up is a habit that women hate that should be kind of obvious and maybe even stereotypical, but I want to cover all bases. They definitely hate when you have that wandering eye. You want an easy way to be disrespectful? When you're out with your lady, check out that strange lady walking down the street you'll get in big trouble. Yes, you and I know your woman isn't the only beautiful woman in the world, but she should be when you're with her. Hey man, when we're hanging out or if you're by yourself, look all you want. But when you're with her, keep your eyes in front. This is something that's always gotten on women's nerves and it continues to do so. You wanna do something she really hates? Have that wandering eye. Now next up is a habit that women hate that I think a lot of guys overlook. They really hate it when you're the always serious, no fun guy. Now don't get me wrong, life is serious. You should be on your purpose, you should be about your business. But not 24 hours a day. Let your hair down sometimes. Laugh a little bit, my guy. 
life is serious enough without you being serious 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. That's a turn off. So do yourself a favor, live a little bit, laugh a lot, She'll have more fun and so will you. Yes, she wants you to get the job done. She wants you on your purpose, but she also wants to enjoy life with you. Now us fellas sometimes have blind spots when it comes to the habits we have that turn the ladies off. So helpfully throughout this video, I've given you some food for thought. Think about do you have some of these bad habits? Are they leading to the lack of success you're having in your dating life? Could be. And as always, I love to have your input. Let me know some bad habits you might have had or ladies have let you know that they can't stand. Let us know in the comment section.